Samantha Maria is here, Maria Shriver. Talk about something very personal to her. Uh, we've spoken a lot about your dad. In 2003, her father, Sergeant Shriver, diagnosed with Alzheimer's, passed away six years ago. Since that time, Maria has been deeply involved in raising awareness and funding for Alzheimer's care and research. Maria's nonprofit, the Women's Alzheimer's Movement, just completed its annual fundraising initiative, Move for Minds, and they've released this, Color Your Mind, a coloring book that's a lot more than just a coloring book. Well, it's good to see you again. You know, Thank everything you. that you talk about, about Alzheimer's, also relates to all of us it does. And brain health. I wish I knew what I know now 10, 15 years ago because Alzheimer's is in your brain for 20 years before it's mm -hmm. symptomatic. So this coloring book, which is I'm so proud of, is really groundbreaking. It's for the millions of people who find themselves as caregivers. It's for people with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. And it kind of lays out, uh, it's got beautiful pictures and coloring, but it also tells you what you need to do at any age to have a healthy brain. Why and, don't we go, th I'm sorry, yeah, why don't we go through out. some of those steps? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, it goes out, we, you know, to talk about your overall well-being. It talks about how important social connection is. Mm -hmm. It talks about how important exercise is. All right, let, let's, let's slow okay. you down here a little bit. Okay, okay right. Good, slow me well down. Well-being, what do you mean by that? Well, me, thank out in nature, communicating with people. So often people, as they age, lose social connection. And what we now know is that loneliness, depression, accelerates your chances of having Alzheimer's. So it's really important to stay socially connected, to have a purpose, right. to feel empowered in that way. And people tend to cut, cut away from people. That's when right. That when you're saying older, what are you saying in terms of age here? Well, I think that's a really good question. And so many people are being diagnosed with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia or cognitive impairment in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. Mm -hmm. So I think that you know, your brain begins to change at 30, so it's really important to be active in your brain throughout your life. This we know now. Right. Exercise. Number critical, two. Being. critical, critical. That should probably be number one because wherever I go, doctors say if you could say one thing to people about their brain health, exercise, exercise, exercise. The blood in your body goes to your brain. So uh, get out, move. That's why we have move for minds. Moving for your mind is really important. Take so a walk. Take it's a simple. walk. Yeah. But also interval exercise. Try to you know rush that blood. Do you to do? Your I brain. bet you do the thing where you walk and then you run and then you walk and then you run. I right? try to do everything. I say a lot of the. I say all of this stuff uh -huh. because I know it to be true. But like anybody, I struggle sometimes to stay away from sugar, to eat the right yes. Mediterranean diet, right, to do uh, the right exercise. Tip number three: social connection, which we touched on. So let's yes. jump ahead. Well, and nutrition. Uh, you just about you started to hit that a little bit. Yes, what we sugar. know, yeah. yes, it's very important. Some people think sugar is a type 3 uh, diabetes for Alzheimer's. Right. So try to cut out processed sugar is important really at any age. High fat, it's really important for your brain to have fat that comes in the form of right, now avocado, we're, we're, olive we're, oil. We're looking at uh, vegetables and fruit and That's I think correct. everybody's always known all the time that this is good for you and yet desserts Sugar, artificial bad. sweeteners, not all good bad. for you. Not yeah. especially artificial sweeteners. A mm -hmm. new study came out on that about how that might accelerate dementia. So I think it's really important, bad. as I say, with yeah. everything and in this coloring book, check with your doctor first. If you are a child of someone who might be in their 60s or 70s, you know, and notice, pay attention to your parents. Pay attention if they're repeating. Get them to a neurologist. Be aware of how their health is in their well, brain and their body. They're not going to come to you with this, no, right, Maria? Exactly. You have to very watch good point. And, and You have to will, be aware. Yeah. We will make excuses, though, in the beginning. Absolutely. A absolutely. little absent-minded, a little Right, but also is. our children make excuses for us. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I made yes, excuses that's what I'm saying. for yes. my father. Yes. And every yes. person in my situation said to me, you know, I made excuses because I didn't want right. My parents oh, just to have Alzheimer's. Keys. Just forgot. You're stressed. Yeah. Take a vacation. Uh, it's true. We move don't want to see move our parents. Minds. Move your mind. Mm -hmm. Do crossword puzzles. Learn something new. Learn a language. Learn cards. All of the things, different ways of activating your brain are really important. We often think, oh, I went to school. I went to college. Learning is over. No, it's really important to keep challenging your brain. I did mm -hmm. a great piece for the Today Show not too long ago about super agers. And these were all people who were in their 70s and 80s and who had the minds and the brains of 20-year-olds because they kept pushing right. themselves. What are they doing to push yeah. themselves, those 
super they're, dangerous. They're, they're learning card games. They're learning languages. They're learning new skills. And when it's uncomfortable, they push through. Okay. That, that's the major point. When it's uncomfortable. If it's <laughs> difficult, for, that's, if it's yes. difficult and yes. you learn it, you are changing your blood circuits exactly. and the blood flow in here. That's right. That's so you this book difference. is not difficult. You're saying no, color this book in a book. Is, this I mean, book is, for me, this book is about connection. Mm -hmm. Okay. This book is a... Uh, something that you can bring to your parent or a loved one who has Alzheimer's or dementia or any kind of brain disability and begin to do something together. When my dad was sick, I didn't really have anything I could do with him. So if you're coloring and you're also reading, you're getting information, you can talk about, oh, wow, social connection. What do you enjoy doing? What did a, you like when you were that young? That is a social connection as you do exactly. that Exactly. Music. Sure. All you right. know, the all book, of the things in here. The book is called Color Your Mind. It's available right now on Amazon. Right. How's the family? They're great. Kids? They're all good. God, Terrific. thank you. Good. They're all healthy. They're happy. Good. And uh, I feel blessed. Good. Yeah. Thank you. It's good mm -hmm. to see you again, nice as always. All right. Thank you. You for always have a me. seat here. You know that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, coming up in a time.